resign. This war of lies. Batman! Batman! Well, it turns out Bathtub Boy over at um, MSNBC has a new sidekick. And we call him Robin, so uh, they are now... Holy fruit salad. Holy fruit salad, indeed. Batman and Robin, the caped Avengers of the left. Holy hole in a donut! The scourge of the right. The intimidators of those who would shout down the left-wingers. David Schuster sitting in for Tucker. He's going to get Tucker's job, Angry Rich. That's like sitting in a chair in a black hole. Well, he's going to do something with it. I mean, Schuster, Schuster's a, a reporter, but he's, <laughs> he's letting a little leg show. Holy mashed potatoes. I mean, he's he's, he's show- getting his bona fides in. John. He's showing some ankle here. They well, are let's space. talk about the public so, trust. Uh, yeah. You represent, of course, a district in western Tennessee. What was the name of the last soldier from your district who was killed in Iraq? Ooh, that's a low blow. Holy nightmare! Does any congressman know the answer to that question? Listen to her stammer. The name of the last soldier killed in Iraq I, from my Abada. district, I, I do not. Okay. I do not. His name was uh, Jeremy Bohannon. He was killed August the 9th, 2007. How come you didn't know the name? I, you know, I, I do not know why I did not know the name. We make contact with the families that are in our district. And when you have a major military post, Uh-oh. you are very sensitive to this and sensitive ball. to working with those families. And so Schuster... Looked it up for the interview. Hit her with it. Marsha Blackburn. What is what district does she represent? Angry Rich. No idea. Republican. I don't know that. I don't. I don't have the answer to that, John. Sorry. But she's a Republican. Right. Somewhere out there where there's a. You just did a base. Schuster to me. Well, you have to expect that, don't you? Yes. Holy caffeine. So um, Robin of uh, Bathman and Robin went in for the kill a second time. No point in just sticking a knife in her when you can come back and stick another one in. The, the problems that a lot of people would have, that you're so focused on an ad. When was the last time a New York Times ad ever killed somebody? And yet, here we have a war that took the life of an 18-year-old kid, Jeremy Bohannon from your district, and you didn't know his name. Well, and we work very closely, as I said, with those families. Oh, we work very God. closely with it's, every one of our uh, military members. We've worked closely oh with Fort God. Campbell. The the answer is painful, isn't it? She's Kentucky. Fort Seven K- District. Fort Campbell, Kentucky. What a little scumbag he is, John. Robin. Holy Las Vegas. He's got that little cape, those little leotards, those little, you know, Peter Pan shoes. Got a little mask. Stands next to Bathman, who comes out in his robe, dripping. And the editorial said, taser this, F expletive, runs with duck, bush. Uh, now, we think uh, we've heard that some of the advertisers have decided to, uh, to pull some of their ads for the, uh, for the Collegian Opinion uh, newspaper there. And that's the opinion section, of course. Uh, what do you make of this, Richard? I love free speech. I, mean, I actually think taser this is a great headline. We didn't need that the second half of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, look, it, it was grossly overreaction from the, from the police and uh, a terrible event. The student newspapers, college newspapers are there to get attention. They did a great job. Okay, so they're, uh, they're there singing the praises of the bleep bush headline that's right uh, please miss stoneman there's no reason to be disturbed that's right behind our mask we're perfectly ordinary people you can't blame him john can you no he wants to stand in the shadow of the big guy wears his little cape his little mask batman and robin i think it's great i think they should say whatever they want in their editorials but likewise if they feel that passionately about it if college students are that passionate about it well what sort of demonstrations and protests are they having at a place like colorado what? state university because if all they're doing what? are a bunch of kids are working the newspaper coming up with you know let's come up with some funny things we can put in the editorial and they're not out there carrying signs for or against president bush regardless of what their politics oh, please. are that please. to me is sort of a, is a hollowness in college oh, students which please. i think is very different with this war than of course we saw in vietnam do you honestly first of all why do i have all these people who were two when the protesters were stomping around about vietnam 40 years ago talking about it as if they know what they're talking about i was a student during the vietnam years not er, not every student was out there protesting as david schuster and my own douglas kennedy would like to believe Gotta some get people, those demo numbers. Some in, uh, people Berkeley, were John. actually paying attention. You know, you're not supposed to go stop traffic. Oh well, then I won't. How about that? No, no. Any good student in the '60s was out protesting, according to Schuster. And according to Schuster, they can't run an uh, an editorial in the student newspaper 
up there in the uh, Seattle area that says bleep Bush unless they're on the campus protesting Bush. Oh, for or against Bush? Can I, mean, can I have a caveat Do you believe here? that? Do you believe for or against Bush? No, you know. What's your caveat? Okay, well, we're calling him Robin, right? Yeah. And clearly he's getting his ideas from those Soros websites. Yeah. He writes them and tries to pass them off as, a, as his own, just like uh, yeah. Beth Boy does. But he does put people on who disagree with him. Yes. Unlike that pussy bathtub boy. No, I understand that because uh, Schuster actually, Robin, is a reporter. He knows how to interview people. And if, if, if somebody is slinging a line at him that he thinks is, is bogus from his point of view, he, he knows how to deal with it. Watch out, Batman. This could be tricky. Batman has never intervie- interviewed anybody. Ever, Resign. Except a friendly interview. This John war Beam. of lies. I mean, I'm really happy he's doing Sunday Night Football again. I want America to see that basically this is a sports guy. And he's completely out of his depth talking about anything else. And now that we see him talking about 40-yard runs, we realize, oh, right, that's what he did. That's where he's from. John Gibson of Fox Noise. Resign. Bathman! Robin. Tune in tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Robin's going to give me a, another call, isn't he, Angry Rich? we we'll get an email from him. I got an email from him last week contesting something we said about what he'd done. So he's probably going to be mad about this. He's going to say I'm not a partisan. And I'm going to say, yes, you are. Not only that, you're clearly trying to be Robin to that channel's biggest star. Batman! Can Batman, Batman escape? Batman! One hint, the worst is yet to come. What's, what's up, John? Proud member of the Hip Hop Nation. Shizzle, John Gibson on Fox News Talk.